Hello. Can you hear me? Yes, teacher. Good okay. evening. But you can see me, right? I don't. Mm -hmm. I can see. I can see. Okay, good. So I don't know what is going on. Let me let me try to fix this little issue. Okay, there you go. Now, yes. Hey, how are you? Good. Good teacher. Hello. Okay, that's nice. Okay, good. I'm okay. Now I can't, I can't complain, right? Like they say. <laughs> Everything is just fine. Okay, so we have today. Yeah, let me check. Let me check. Just um, module one. See the two. We had some verbs. And then my key X. Nope. Mm -hmm. KP. Okay, this is something else. <clears throat> now we're gonna check then the unit for well, the section, right? Section here, four, <clears throat> 11. It's working slowly. Okay, yes, this is where we stopped. 
yesterday we had um, the invitation. That was the last conversation we were listening to. In this lesson, mm -hmm. participants would listen to a conversation where wood for invitations is used when making plans. We will learn through this conversation how to accept or refuse an invitation. As you listen to the audio program, pay attention to expressions such as I'd like to and I'd love to. An invitation. I have tickets to the soccer match on Friday night. Would you like to go? Thanks. I'd love to. What time does it start? At 8 o'clock. That sounds great. So, do you want to have dinner at 6? Uh, I'd like to, but I have to work late. Oh, that's okay. Let's just meet at the stadium before the match, around 7.30. Okay, let's meet at the gate. That sounds fine. See you there. Okay, that was the, um, the invitation to go to the stadium. And then we have uh, the use of wood. Okay, wood in questions, okay? This is to ask uh, polite questions using wood. Then you see here the structure, and let's listen to the explanation. By the end of this lesson, participants will comprehend the use of wood in questions and answers. Remember I told you last class to pay attention to the conversation when they used I like to or I love to? Well, now it's our turn to study how to form a sentence for accepting and refusing an invitation. Let's check it out. Would. Verb plus to plus verb. Would you like to go out on Friday? Yes, I would. Yes, I'd love to. Thanks. Yes. I'd really like to go. Would you like to go to a soccer match? I'd like to, but I have to work late. I'd like to, but I need to save money. I'd like to, but I want to visit my parents. Contraction. I'd equals I would. In order to accept an invitation, we need to follow the structure. Subject plus would plus verb plus to plus verb, plus complement. Examples, I would like to go to her new house. I would love to go to her new house. And when we need to refuse an invitation, we need to follow this structure. Subject, plus word, plus verb, plus to, plus verb, comma, but, plus. Examples, I would love to go to her new house, but I can't. I would like to go to her new house, but I can't. Okay, so here we have the questions. I'd equals I would. In order to accept... I'd like to... Okay, here we have the question, but also we have the possible answer. But I want to visit my parents. And then it says, uh, would you like to go out on Friday? Would you like to go out on the weekend? Would you like to go out tomorrow? Would you like to go out right now? Okay, would you like to go out uh, next month? Also, it could be, would you like to have some, some uh, like, let's say, uh, something to drink? Would you like to have a, something to eat? Okay, would you like to study or learn another language? Okay, you can use other other verbs, okay, and not only go. Okay, this is an invitation. Would you like to go to a soccer match? Would you like to go to a baseball game? Would you like to go to, uh, to the movies? Okay, to the theater? Would you like to go to the church if you want to? And they say, I like to but I have to work late. So this is, and that the answers? Contraction. I'd not? equals I would. <clears throat> In order to accept an invitation, we need to follow the structure. Subject plus word plus verb plus to plus verb plus complement. Examples, I would like to go to her new house. Okay, I would like to go to her new house. Okay, I like to. 
So you can use the contraction, right? I like to go to her new house. I would love to go to her new house. And when we need to refuse an invitation, we need to follow this structure. Subject plus word plus verb plus to plus verb, comma, but plus. Examples, I would love to go to her new house, but I can't. I would like to go to her new house, but I can't. Okay. All right. So then this one. Wait a minute. <clears throat> By the end of this lesson, participants will comprehend that I can't. Okay. So then we have the, the structures where we can use would plus verb plus to plus the, right? So this is important here. Remember this. Structure. Subject plus word plus version. We need to follow this structure. Okay. This is what you have to remember. This is when you... Uh, let's say reject when you do not accept, do you not accept the um, invitation, right? Then you say, I love to go, but I can't, I have to work. I, lo I love to go, but I can't, I have to study, okay? I love to go, but I can't, um, I don't have money, but I don't have money. Okay, would you like to go to, let's say, would you like to go to Guatemala this year? They say, oh, I love to, but I don't have enough money, uh, but I can't, or oh, but I have to, I don't have money to pay the, the, for the test, you know, the COVID test or something like that, whatever, right? You have some reason, some not excuses, or sometimes it can be as an excuse, okay? So Structure. Subject plus word plus verb plus to plus verb, comma, but plus. Examples. I would love to go to her new house, but I can't. I would like to go to her new house, but I can't. Okay. But I need to save money. Now, what you're going to do is, please write... Some uh, two questions, okay, using would. Would you like to go out on Friday? Or would you like to a soccer match? Would you like to go to the movies? Uh, would you like to, to come to my house and watch a movie? Would you like to, to go to the park? Okay, would you like to study English? Uh, with me tonight, okay? Would you like to practice English? Okay, so you can do, ask any questions, right? Then, and in the answers, you can use the affirmative. You say, oh, I would like to go to the park. Oh, sure, I would love to go to the park. Or you can use the negative. Okay, you can say, I love to go to the park but I am busy, okay, but I, but I can't, okay, but I am uh, doing my homework. I would love, I love to go to the park, but um, I have to cook, I have to prepare my breakfast for tomorrow, okay, I have to eye on my clothes, so I can't. Okay, good, so you can use, you know, different, um, let's say different uh, excuses or probably reasons why you cannot do something. Okay, now let's see. Okay, ready. Then write two questions. Two questions and then we're going to practice. Would you like to?
Okay, ready to practice? Good, suppose I will ask a question to, to Delmi, right? Delmi, would you like to go to, let's say, uh, would you like to go to the, um, let's say to a restaurant on Friday? You can answer affirmative or negative, no problem. Then me, would you like to go to a restaurant on Friday? Tell me, are you there? No. Okay, Beatrice, are you there? Yes, teacher. Okay. Would you look, would you like to go to a restaurant on Friday? Mm. Yes, I would. Uh-huh. The long answer, yes. I would like to. I I would like to go to the restaurant. Okay, perfect. Excellent. Okay, then you give the long answer and say, yes, I would like to go to the restaurant, but I can't, or oh, but I am busy, okay? But if you say, I would like to go to the restaurant, it's okay too. But we are going to practice the long answer, okay? Uh, Flor, would you like to go to the, let's say to the, um, let me see here, we have, okay, to the beach uh, on Sunday? Yes, I would like to go to the beach. Okay, perfect, okay. And it is? Um, okay, I will, yes. ask, I will ask you a question. I will ask you another question. It is, would you like to go to the mall? Would you like to go shopping to a mall this weekend? Yes, would like, but I don't have money for shopping. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's correct. That's, okay, you see? Yes, I love to go, or I would like to go, but I don't have money for shopping. Okay, good. All right, no problem. Flor is going to use her credit card. Okay, Flor has a black, a black credit card, no limit. Uh, so no problem. Yes, Flor. Or no. You say yes. It's just uh, practice. Yes. <laughs> okay. My good. husband pays. <laughs> oh, all right, that's good. Okay, that's better. They they always pay, so we always pay. You know, we always. So we have to pay. No problem. Okay, good. Excellent. Okay, Flor, now you ask a question to Beatriz, okay? Would you? Okay. Beatriz, would you like to go, go to the tour with me? I, I would like to go to the church. Okay, you say yes, I would like to go to the church. Good. Now, Beatriz, ask the question to, I don't know, tell me, tell me, are you there? Are you ready? No, probably she has a problem, okay? Then Beatrice, ask the question then to Iris. Okay. Iris, would you like to go to swim the river with me? Would you like to go swimming yeah. to the river? Yes, I, I like. Okay. Uh, let me see. Look in the chat. Then when you answer, you can, because this is, this is most uh, common, right? In the United States, when you speak, yes, the con use the contraction, okay? Yes, I like, let me see, yes, I like to go swimming. Okay. That could be an answer that says, yes, I like to go swimming. Okay, or uh, the other one is yes, I'd love okay, to go swimming. Okay, remember love too is like my cantaria, right? So you can use the two, no problem. Okay, now uh, it is ask the question to to Flor. Okay, Flor. 
would you like to drink the um, uh, beer? Um, yes, I would like, but I can't. Okay, no, I would like, but I can't. Um, I have to work. <laughs> I have to drive. Okay, they say, no, uh, yes, I would like, but I can't. I have to drive. Or, yeah, or no, or you, if it is negative, they say, no, no thanks. Okay, this is another way that you can say, no thanks. Okay, no, gracias. And if you, if you feel that you need to give a more, more explanation, you say, no, thanks, no, thanks. And you can say, no, thanks, I, let's see, I don't drink. Okay, so you can use this one too. No thanks. No thanks is if, if you don't want any small, right? But if you don't drink, you say, no thanks, I don't drink. Oh, no thanks, maybe. This is another possible answer. No thanks. Maybe. Some other time. Okay, no thanks, maybe some other time. That would be like, no gracias, en otra vez tal vez, okay? O tal vez en otra ocasión. Then maybe some other time, okay? Those are other possibilities. So you see you can have different ways to answer. Okay, Flor, second question. The second question to Beatriz. Okay. Would you like to live in Metapan City? Yes, I love to live in Metapan. <laughs> well, you, you live there, right? <laughs> yeah. Uh, no, not exactly. Okay. But how is life in Metapan? Relax, quiet, or very hectic? Uh, it's a beautiful city. It's uh -huh. quiet, but okay. uh -huh. That's right. no quiet. No, <laughs> it depends. Probably depends on the neighborhood, right? Yes, depends on the neighborhood. For In example. the center town is uh -huh. is uh, noisy. ¿Cómo se dice? Ruidoso, noisy. Noisy. Yeah. Uh -huh. Noisy. Yes. For example, I live in Colombia. Hay muchas personas. Uh -huh. I live in Lourdes, Colón, for example, but in the area where I live, it's very quiet, okay? Very quiet, but there are some other areas that are very noisy, right? So that depends. Okay, good. And the vivo sí es muy quiet. All right, okay, that's, that's why. And it's nice. Or you like yeah. the, and you like the noise? Yeah. You like the noise? See, I like. Okay, okay, very good. All right, very good. Then Beatriz, ask the question to Iris. Okay. Would you like to go to play soccer? No, I no play soccer. I am. Okay. And you say no thanks. I don't play soccer. No, thanks, I don't play soccer. Or you can say, no, thanks, but I don't like soccer, sorry, <laughs> okay? I mean, you can answer a... Before, before I play soccer, but... Uh, en mis tiempos mozos. Okay, <laughs> yes, yeah. last month, el mes pasado. <laughs> yes, then, then you say yes, okay? You say yes, but no, I can't, okay? Or well, no, thanks, good. Then uh, it is... The last question to Flor. Okay, Flor, would you like to... To eat chicharrones. To, 
<laughs> to eat pupusas. <laughs> uh, okay. Would you like to eat pupusas? Yes, I love eat pupusas. Yeah, me too. Yes, everybody, right? Okay, good. So you see, this is, you know, what, what I love, what you like, and then, and the possible answers, right? Uh, remember that when you say, would you, is a formal, a polite way. And you can say no in una forma, I mean, uh, educada, right? You say, no, thanks. Uh, I don't drink. No, thanks. I don't like it. Sorry. Oh, no, no, thanks. But I don't have money in this moment. Uh, in this moment. Uh, no thanks, but I am very busy. Then different ways, is a little excuse or explanation, okay, or explanation. Good. Now let's see the platform, and in the platform we're going to do the exercise with the knowledge check. Okay, we have read the following invitations and select the best response. Okay, Flor, can you read the first uh, invitation, number one? The number one? Yes. I have tickets to the baseball game on Saturday. Would you like to go? Oh, perfect. Then... What is the best answer? Yes, I am, or yes, I love to. Yes, I love, yes, I love, I love to. to. Okay, this is the other way, right? Yes, I love to. Good. Uh, it is, read the second question. Would you like to come over for dinner tomorrow night? All right, very good. The answer? I, I, I like to, but I have meeting. Okay, very good. And Beatrice. Would you like to go to pop concert with me with me this weekend? Okay. And then? Mm, yes. Yes, I really like to go. Yes, I really like to. Good. And floor again, number four. Okay. Would you like to go a soccer match next Sunday? Okay, you're missing, you're just missing the question mark. Uh-huh. Then the answer? Yes, I love to. Thank you. Thank you, yes. Yes, I love to. Thank you. And it is the last one. Would you like to watch a movie on Friday night? On Friday night? So what's the answer? I like, but I have to work. I like to, but I have to work. Yes. There you go, okay. Now let's submit. And you can see that all of them are correct. Okay, I love, yes, I love to. I like to, but I have made it. Okay, but I have a meeting with the ear. Yes, I really like to go. Yes, I love to, thank you. And I like to, but I have to work. Okay possible answers. Questions in this moment? No questions, teacher. No questions? Perfect. If you have no questions, let's do the reading. Okay, uh, Beatriz, can you read this objective here? In this lesson, participants will read an article about singer. Scanning for important information will be developed. Developed. Okay, scanning. What is scanning? Look for 
or search uh, search for a specific information, right? So then when you have this one, you say it's scanning for important information is when you are uh, trying to find very specific, specific information that you need in the, uh, to find in the reading. Uh, here, this is about Christina Aguilera. Look, it says she sings at the Winter Olympic Games. And then you have to read the article and then number the sentences from one first event to eight last event. You will have to remember the chronological order, right? The chronological order of the events in the reading. Okay, so the reading is about Cristina Aguilera. Then we have Cristina at the Olympics. Uh, we have uh, Christina, Christina's first heat. Okay, Ginny in a bottle. And then we have here, Christina, second from right. Okay, on the new Mickey Mouse Club. Hmm. Okay, so it must be, oh, this one, right? No, this one, this one here. Okay, so that's Christina. Then it says Christina Aguilera. Flor, can, can you read this introduction here? Okay, teacher. So far, she has multiple hit singers. She has fans of all age around the world. And many people say she's the best singer of her generation. She is Cristina Aguilera. Okay. So then, what is your opinion about that? Do you think that Cristina is the, um, the best singer, the best singer of her generation? What is Cristina Aguilera's generation? Do you remember other singers? She's from the 80s, right? Yes. Let me see. Let's try to find out. Let's see, let's see, other. Singers from generation. Mm, we have There are not many. Not much information about it. Pop dancing, then we have oh, Britney Spears, Madonna, Maroon 5, Blake Shelton, eh, Pitbull, Alejandro Fernando, Fernandez. Luis Fonsi, eh, Demi Lovato. Okay, so these are the ones that relate to her. Okay, what do you think? Do you think that she's the best? Or no? Mm, no, for me, no. Okay, there are others. <laughs> Better than yes. here. Okay, good. And for you, it is? <laughs> Uh, no, no, no. No, I... okay. Okay, Beatrice? Uh, I don't listen to her. Okay, so you don't know much about her music. I think she's a good singer. Actually, I think, creo que tiene un par de canciones con Alejandro Fernández, right? In a, they have a duo, I think. They have one. Uh, I don't remember. 
Okay. And then it says, here are some highlights of Christina's life and career. Okay, then uh, let's see. Teacher, what is highlights? Highlights are these ones, okay? Como los, las líneas gruesas, okay? Las uh, more important events in her life, okay? The more, the most important events in her life. Okay, teacher, thank you. Right, then it is, read the first one and the second one. 1980, 1988. Okay, Christina is born on December uh, 18 in New York. Okay. Uh, Christina first appears, appears. appears. On television in a star search a television talent show. A television uh, talent show. Star search. In busca de una estrella, right? In busca de estrellas. Buscando estrellas. I think there was another program similar in El Salvador. Okay, Beatrice, read the 1992 and 1994. Christina is on TV in Disney New Mickey Mouse. Club with Bernie Spear and Justin Timberlake. Christina records All I Want to Do with Keisu Nakashiki in Japanese Nakanishi. pop star. <laughs> in Japanese pop star, she tours Japan. She tours Japan. Okay, good. Uh, Flor, 1998 and 1999. Okay, teacher. Christina sings a song for the Disney movie Mulan. Christina has her first big hit, Jenny in a Bottle. Jenny in a Bottle, correct. Good. Okay. Iris 2001 and 2002. Okay. Along with other singer, Christina Record, Lady. Marmal, marmalade. Marmalade. Uh -huh. Marmalade. For the movies, Moulin Rouge. Moulin Rouge. This Moulin is Rouge. this is French. This is French. Moulin Rouge is the El Molino Rojo, right? They say Molino Rojo. Yes. Uh huh. Two thousand two. Christina performed at the closing ceremony. Ceremonies. For the Winter Olympics game in Salt Lake City, Utah. Utah. Okay, good. Uh, Beatrice, 2004. Along with other things, Christina Record, Lady Mar. Malay. No, 2000. For the movies, 2004. Rose. Uh -huh, Mulan Rouge. Uh-huh, yes. The 2004 Christ in the last part. Mm -hmm. Christina wins the best female pop vocal Grammy Award for Beautiful. Okay. And the last part? Overall, Christina Aguilera is tried, tried by the SUSE. It's been quite a roller coaster ride. She loud and simple love, my job. So do all Christina's fans. Okay, good. Now, questions about vocabulary, expressions, or something that you need to, to understand better. What the meaning? Thrilled. Thrilled. Uh -huh. Thrilled. Mm -hmm. Here it says Christina Aguilera is thrilled by her success, like you know, like eh, asustada, right? Eh, yes, something like that, right? You say thrill. Like you remember the the song from Michael Jackson, Thriller. Mm. Okay, se encuentra como yes, asustada, right? Like scared. Mm -hmm. 
by her success. What else? Any expressions? For example, here it says it's been quite a roller coaster ride. Mm. Okay, when you say it's been quite a roller coaster, it's in the Montaña Rosa, right? Then uh, sometimes the people compare compare the roller coaster with the life because they say that sometimes you go up and then you go down and you go up and then you go down okay in life it's like that right ups and downs ups and downs emotions you feel nice and sometimes you are scared you are thrilled so that's what it, that's what she says right it's been quite ha sido como un viaje in una montaña rusa, right? I think that some uh, some uh, uh, singers, some artists, they they have that sensation that their life is like this, okay, up and down, up and down, and up and down. Okay, what else? What else? ¿Vale? Léanlo como que se lo estuvieran viendo en español, ¿ok? Esa es la, la... Había otra aquí, let me see, aquí. Here. It says, eh, I simply love my job. So do all Cristina's fans. Then she says, Eso es lo que ella dice, ¿ok? Simplemente amo mi trabajo. And here it says, so do all Christina's fans. También todos los fans, los seguidores de Cristina. They love her job. Eso significa como que ellos también aman lo que ella hace. ¿Ok? They simply love what they do. ¿Ok? Now, we are going to put all these words, well, not the words, all the events, right, in this order. She sings at the Winter Olympic Games. That's number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's seven. seven okay. Tell me, you tell me the numbers and then we do it. She's born Miss in New York. New York. It's one. Number one. No, number one. This one. Grammy eight. Number eight. Number eight. Okay, she records song a song for this the movie and the number five number five do you remember the name of the movie Mulan Mulan, Mulan. yes oh. Mulan number a uh, letter E this letter right or D E Japan four four number four yes Okay, she works with Britney Spears. It's three, three. That's number three. Letter G. Number two. Number? Two. 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 Number two, H. Number six. Number six. Number six, okay. Now let's see. There it 
Okay, wow. You did your homework, girls. Okay, so we have, she has her first very successful song. So these are the highlights, remember, right? The highlights, the important events, the important events in her life. Then you have the number two. She works with Britney Spears. Uh, she travels around the world. Uh, she records a song for a Disney movie. She wins a Grammy for Beautiful. She's born in New York. Um, she sings at the Winter Olympic Games. Okay, so that was the number seven. Good. Are we okay in this moment? No problem. Okay, so this is the, <clears throat> basically the end. Okay, this is basically the end of the section four. Okay, section four. And then we have the next one. Okay, then in this lesson, participants will be able to listen to a conversation about families. Okay, now we're gonna use what tense? The present continues. What's the present continues? Remember? Present continues. Which one is it? Actions, okay, that we probably, that we do at the moment. Of speaking. Okay, esa es una, right? Porque hay otra que es cuando las cosas que están pasando en estos días. But in this case, let's say the actions that we do at the moment of speaking. What are those actions that we do at the moment of speaking? We, we what? We are, I am speaking. You say I am uh, having dinner. I am listening to music. I am listening to you, I am uh, sitting, I am standing, okay, I am paying attention, okay, so all those different expressions that we use. Then we use the verb to be. The verb to be um, is and are. A N verbs plus ing, right? And when we say work, then ing, then we have working. Okay, I am working, I'm studying, I am running, I am looking at, I am watching. Okay, I am swimming, all these verbs. Okay, so this is, you know, one idea of what we are going to see now in the next, in the next video with a conversation. Are you ready to talk about your family? I want you to play the conversation. I'm practicing in class. Asking about families. Part A. Listen and practice. Tell me about your brother and sister, Sue. Well, 
My sister works for the government. Oh? What does she do? I'm not sure. She's working on a very secret project right now. Wow. And what about your brother? He's a wildlife photographer. What an interesting family. Can I meet them? Uh, no. My sister's away. She's not working in the United States this month. And your brother? He's traveling in the Amazon. Can you tell me now when Rita's parents leave? What do they do? Type your answers in our discussion box. Page 31. Exercise 3. Part B. Listen to the rest of the conversation. Where do Rita's parents live? What do they do? So what about your parents, Rita? Where do they live? They live in Texas. Oh, where in Texas? In Austin. It's a small city, but it's very nice. Are they still working? Oh, yes. My mother is teaching at the university there, and my father is a carpenter. Okay. Um, my father is a carpenter. And what about your brother? He okay. Do you see any, any new word? What is with life? Mm, all right, let me see. He's a good life for wildlife. Uh -huh. Wildlife uh -huh. is the photographers that go to to uh, safaris Africa, okay, to take pictures. You know? Africa is a wildlife, vida silvestre. Well, not only Africa. Here, probably, let me see here where we can. Uh, El trifinio, near the Metapan. So that is wildlife, el imposible, right? Those areas. Okay, what else? Only teacher. Only, okay, that's good. Okay, so then now listen again and pay attention to the pronunciation and the intonation, okay? Ready to talk about your family? I want you to play the conversation and practice it in class. Asking about families. Part A. Listen and practice. Tell me about your brother and sister, Sue. Well, my sister works for the government. Oh, what does she do? I'm not sure. She's working on a very secret project right now. Wow. And what about your brother? He's a wildlife photographer. What an interesting family. Can I meet them? Uh, no. My sister's away. She's not working in the United States this month. And your brother? He's traveling in the Amazon. Can you tell me now when Rita's parents leave? What do they do? Type your answers in our discussion box. Page 31. Exercise 3. Part B. Listen to the rest of the conversation. Where do Rita's parents live? What do they do? So what about your parents, Rita? Where do they live? They live in Texas. Oh, where in Texas? In Austin. It's a small city, but it's very nice. Are they still working? Oh, yes. My mother is teaching at the university there, and my father is a carpenter. So what about your parents, Rita? Where do they live? They live in Texas. Oh. Where in Texas? In Austin. It's a small city, but it's... Okay. Where do they live? Where do Rita's parents live? Texas. Texas. In what, uh -huh. in what city? Austin. In Austin, Austin. Texas, right? This word she live. That is where they live, right? Good. Okay. Then uh, let me see. Flor, you are Rita. Okay. And it is you are Sue. Read the conversation, please. Tell me about your brother and sister, Sue. Well, my sister worked for the gover government. Oh. government. Oh, what does she do? I am not sure. She's working on the very secret project right now. Wow, and what about your brother? He's a... Uh, Will, will wild, life wild 
Wildlife Why? photographer. 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 What? What an interesting family. Can I meet them? Oh no, my sister. As well, she's not working in the USA this month. And your brother? He's traveled in the Amazon. Wow, in the Amazon. Good. Okay, now uh, it is you are Rita and Beatriz, you are Sue. Okay, tell me about your brother and sister, Sue. Well, my sister works for the government. Oh, what does she do? I'm not sure. She's working on a very secret project right now. What? Um, what about your brother? He's a wildlife photographer. What an, what an interesting family. Can I meet them? Mm, no, my sister away. She's not working in the U United States this month. And your brother? He's traveling in the Amazon. Okay, good. Now, the last one. The last uh, round, Beatrice, you are Rita and Flor, you are Sue. Tell me about your brother and sister, Sue. Well, my sister works for the government. Oh, what does she do? I'm not sure. She's working on a very secret project right now. Wow. And what about, what about your brother? He's a wildlife photographer. What an interesting family. Can I meet them? Oh, no. My sister away. She's not working in the United States this month. And your brother? He's traveling in the Amazon. Okay, he's traveling in the Amazon. Okay, good. No problem with the pronunciation. That's good. And no questions about vocabulary? No, teacher. No, no questions. Okay, very good. Okay, then uh, tomorrow we're going to continue with the questions and affirmative and negative sentences with the present continuous, right? Uh, activities that we do. And also, se puede ocupar con las cosas que estamos haciendo, que están sucediendo ahora, right? For example, you can say, um, I, am, uh, I am working on a project. Uh, let's, say, uh, let's say on an education project. Okay, estoy trabajando en un proyecto de educación, but in this moment, in this moment, I am not doing that. In this moment, I am teaching. Okay, but it's some, also that I'm taking an English class. Uh -huh, exactly, right? Si alguien le pregunta mañana en la mañana, ¿qué está haciendo en estos días, Flor? Ah, estoy estudiando inglés. No en el momento que habla, pero es algo que está haciendo en, en este semestre, en este mes, right? So then, ahí también se puede usar el ING. You say, I'm studying English. Okay, o si alguien la oye hablar inglés, hey, you, you speak English. Yes, then you say, I am studying English. No en el momento de hablar, but eh, se está preparando, right? So in that sense, so that's what, that's the practice that we're going to have tomorrow, people. So thank you for connecting. Okay, sure, thank you. Night, See you tomorrow, have a good night. Good night. Okay, bye-bye. Take care, night, God bless you too, bye-bye.